Hello. Hi. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are with Two Sue Crafts. Yes, welcome to our channel where independent stamping up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products from our online shop. Do use the card host code which can which can be found on our website at mitosucrafts.com to receive handmade card from us the following month or any extra gifts if you order qualifies. So we are live uh, this Friday for Barry's Fun Fold Friday yes. series. Um, yes, what are you going to be making? I'm making. I'm calling it. I, I, I'm calling it a try. Um, a try aperture. Try fold aperture card. Ooh. I think I don't really know. <laughs> Unless we can come up with a better name. Try fold aperture card. It looks lovely. I think there's other things out there anyway. So um, like it, but or well, there is, but I can't remember the exact name. So I'm calling it a try because it's. It's pretty bold. It looks like an envelope as well. Oh, it's a trifold aperture envelope. <laughs> fold. <laughs> You're just making it long. I'm making it up now. Anyway. <laughs> yes. Uh, we've got a couple of people. Uh, the Ryans. Hello. Hi. And Sandra. Hi. Uh. Hello. So, yeah. So, it's a bit short notice um, today. Yes. Yeah, so, um, please um, please hit that share button. Um, just to let everyone know that we are live. So, that you should, should see a word which says share or an arrow. If you want to click that for us. And... To share it with Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it wherever. Um, just let some people know um, that we're live. That'd be great. So yeah, here we go. They're all coming in now. They're Yay. all getting notifications. And this is Tommy, if you've never seen us before. So this is the last part from the two suit graphs. So this is... No, second. Middle. Middle. Sorry. So yeah. So um, yeah. So tonight we're going to be playing, as I said, Funfold Friday. And I'm going to be using the lovely Friendly Hello stamp set with the... I think it's friendly hello designer series paper so that's what we're going to be using at the season well, not much of the designer series paper but i'm going to be using a little bit of it so that's the one this is a freebie stamp set which you can earn um during the month of february now um for, during celebration free of charge with a 90 pound order so if you've got a 90 pound order i can't press it it's too what are you doing it's a celebration oh. button there that one right <laughs> there so um so yes, yeah, so you can earn it free of charge with a ninety pound order um during the month. So that's the stamp set I'm gonna be playing with as well. But the fold you can use for lots of um lots of different stamp sets. Yes. Um it's 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 suitable for anything. So yeah, switch it out and nice. uh, hopefully you're in like the fold. It's very easy. Um but we're gonna crack on and we'll do that one right now yeah. for you. Shall I say hello to Oh yeah, say hi to everyone. We have Gian, hello, Linda, Brenton. Brenda, Sue, Anne, Catherine, hello, Teddy Bear Stamping, SD Cut Lover, and yes, thank you so much for joining it's so us. Nice to Sandra as well. Do you have a yes. Sandra? Uh, oh, hi, Sandra. Yeah, Sorry. So I, was, I think he, I, he, I knew he ignored you, um, Sandra, because he obviously uh, saw mum's name at the and top. And it's the same colour. And it's the same colour as well. Yeah, you're the same. Well, it might be the S. I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's so the same. He, he completely went a rush over you. I knew he had. So sorry. So, um, yeah, sorry about that, Sandra. So, good. So, anyone else coming there at the last minute? No, nope, that is everyone. Nope. Lovely. Cool. Lo excellent. So, let's crack on with tonight's demonstration. Come on. Oh, where are we? There we go. Lovely. So, yeah, as mentioned, um, oh, you're going to need a little bit of light as well. There we go. That's it. So, as mentioned, this is a stamp set which we're going to be using, which is the um, Friendly Hello. It's a really, really nice stamp set. And I'm going to be using this lovely bird and um, some flowers down here, this sentiment here, and hope you have uh, the best birthday is what I'm going to be using. So many possibilities over this stamp set. Um, I think it's great. So what you're going to need is you will need some tools. Um, you're going to need to. We're going to be doing some die cutting with this as well tonight. Um, so you're going to need to. If you're going to follow along or craft afterwards, you will need to have a die cutting machine, some embossing folders, um, some circle dies, layering circle dies, as well. But uh, what you're going to need the card combination is you're going to need a bit of A4 cardstock. You will need a piece of scrap basic white for doing some stamping, and uh, depending on what layering circles you're going to be using. I've got a bit of black cardstock here measuring three and a half by three and a half and this is so it fits one of my largest circle which I'm going to be doing my layer in circle. So it's like that's that's so that's three and a half by three and a half. And then I've got some other pieces here. I've got another bit of basic white which is measuring three and a half by five and a half. A bit of black which is measuring three and a half by five and a half. 
and some designer series paper which is measuring, measuring three and one quarters by five and a quarter. I am going to be working in inches for this because again it's just easier when working things out and for fun folds I find it's just a little bit easier. Um, but basically the, the fold of the card is that you just need to take something and divide it by three basically is an easy way if you're going to do this again. But the measurements I'm going to be using is I'm going to take my A4 cardstock and I'm going to cut this along the short edge, so the whole piece along at 14 points, sorry, um, five and three quarters, which is our standard size when we go when we are in it centimeters of 14.6. Okay, and that's that one. And I am going to. Turn this round and then I'm going to do some scoring. Okay, so I need to now score along the long edge here at three and seven eighths of an inch. So that's just two little um, two two marks down from the four. So I'm going to score there. Okay, and then I'm going to take this over to seven and three quarters of an inch. And then I'm going to score. So you're basically wanting to divide your cardstock into into three, into three panels. You will need to take a little bit off of one side in a moment because once it all folds together, it ends up being a little bit too big and it starts to it starts to buckle a little bit. So once we've decided what's going to be the inside of the card, then we're going to take a little bit more off of that. But I will come to that when as I show you that as and when I get to that part, just to, so you're aware. Uh, we'll do that now actually. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold over going to fold and burnish and I'm going to do the same on the opposite sides okay and then because if we leave it like this and we try and fold the other one over it doesn't go it but it it, it buckles like that so whatever way we're going to do if I'm looking at this I want to take a little bit off of this side over here well I suppose it's 11 and 5 eighths of an inch And maybe a little bit more. We may need to take a little bit more off. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's about 11 and 5 eighths of an inch. That still has not given me enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off. I'm going to take off another 16th of an inch. Okay. You get your I changed the blade today, Jeff. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it cut it quite nicely because I've got a brand new blade in it. You can see now we've got a flat, a flat card. So work out what one you want to be. Now you just need to make sure that you know this side over here though is going to be your inside of your card. So on this side here, as it's folded, I'm just going to pop a little cross on that one because this is where I'm going to put some paper on. So no, it doesn't matter. Just so I know now this is going to be the inside. Otherwise, if you start doing it the other way around, it's going to, you're going to end up having the same problems. So just make sure that you're aware of that one. Good. So I started off. So I started off with five and three quarters by eleven and five eighths of a thing, and then I've taken a little bit off the side or your things. So just work out your measurements that way. Whilst we've got the paper here, I'm going to take the black piece and I'm going to take the designer series paper, and I'm just going to glue these two together. And look at the other side as well, it's a lovely side. But we're going to glue all of this together. And all the way in the middle as well. And we will then just put this on. So this has been measured so that it's got a nice matte and layer on this. Okay. And then this piece can then get stuck to that part there which we've then just marked as being the inside of the card. Okay, so pop some glue all the way around on this as well. Now when we come to do some die cutting in a moment, we're going to create an aperture and we're going to be cutting through two pieces of paper and some DSP. So it's going to need a little bit of welly to go through. Um, I may, I'll see how I get on, I may get Jay to do it so he can stand up and do it, but we will see. The machine cut it okay earlier on, but so 
that's going to go on there. Remember, if, obviously, if you've got directional paper, then make sure that you now pop it up the correct way. So that's that. So we've got our three panels. This is the inside, and this is going to be the front. All right. So what we want to do now is we want to grab our trimmer once again. And we want to pop this on the long edge here, on the, sorry, on the short edge here. We want to just grab our scoring blade and we just want to put some, pop some marks on here. One at two and seven eighths of an inch or a pencil mark. I just use a trimmer and just pop a little bit of a, a mark in there. You can see it's just created that little, little mark crack right there. Turn it round. So we've gone from that one. We're turning it round this way. And then I want to then pop a mark in at one and three quarters of an inch, top and bottom. Okay, so the same principle, just pop a little score line in and a little score line. So you've got a little mark just down here, tiny, tiny mark, and a tiny, tiny one up here. Then what you want to do is I want you to then cut from that mark, which you've done there, down to that center mark. So this is now where you can have a little bit of, um, you can do whatever angles you want. You can have a higher one, so you can have a bigger gap here and a smaller triangle at the top. This is entirely up to you now how you want to do it. But I've got an even, equals both sides. So I'm going to cut that triangle off and I'm going to do the same. So from that corner to the pet to that mark which I made. So just line it up in that track of your trimmer and then cut away. All right, and that's created a nice point here, which is then going to go like that. And that's basically the fold of the card. So a tri-fold, triple fold, whatever you want to call it, element here. But we're going to pop the aperture into this one. So we have got our layering circles. So we've got the plain circle, we've got the scalloped circle right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to need to pop, a, cut a circle from the front, okay? So what you wanna do is I would say you wanna grab yourself some removable tape or low tack tape, just so you can position this in place. You wanna try and pop it so it's in the middle, not in the middle of this panel right here because it looks a little bit odd on the back part and I'll show you on one of my prototypes what I did. So what we wanna do is kinda wanna position it so it's in the middle of the two cards and then anchor it in. I'm going to anchor it in so it's on the inside of the card. Then that way, if there is any tearing going on, it's going to tear the part which is going away rather than actually the part which is going to be staying on the card. So I can afford to rip this one if it does stick rather than the actual body of the card. Bring in your machine. Let's just do it this way around. And we'll just die cut this out. Okay, so when we're die cutting this out now, I've now opened this up, so I've got, can't actually see that. I opened it up so it's gonna go through the machine like this. And then carefully run that through your machine to create your aperture. What's everyone saying, Jay, anything? Linda's got this bundle, she loves it. Uh, Valerie said hello, uh, Marion's in as well. Hi, Anne's, Marion. Anne's looking forward to the wave, so I said we might, we're thinking of doing a class slash retreat. Yes, we are, Jay, uh, met, we mentioned it on the way home from picking Jay up from work today, actually. He said, we wanna, do we wanna do a retreat with the, with the waves? So watch this space, we may do a, a, a retreat on this, so, so an all day class. And Gian loves uh, this bundle as well. She made a sampler, which I, I think I saw either on Facebook or Instagram. Excellent. Yeah, it's a lovely. I haven't really played with it that much until over this last week. Over this last week, actually, and I've really, it's a lovely set to play with. So, that's my aperture, which I've created, and there we have it. So we can now see through. Now we need to create another aperture on this one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my die back in. I'm going to grab a pen, or you can grab a pencil, and then all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to now draw a circle around this. doesn't need to be all the way around. It just needs so you can line it up if you can't get all the way around. It's just something to for a reference. 
and there we have it. So by positioning it here, I've now got it in the middle of the second one in the middle, all right, and it's which is quite central, so I'm happy with that. Then what we want to do is we then want to do the same again, and we want to die cut through this. So I'm going to position this over like that, and I'm going to grab my sticky tape again, and as I did before, I'm going to anchor it down on the inside of it. So if it tears, it's going to tear on the circle, which I don't actually really, which I don't need for this card. So it's not a waste. So I'm going to run this through the same as I did last time. Run it through so it's opened up. All right. And then do that. Now you're going to go, as I said, you're going, going through a couple of pieces of cardstock here. So this is going to be a little bit heavy and may wobble a little bit. So do... And you may need to go backwards and forwards a few times. may need to move it around, but you just need to pop it through. It's quite tight. You may just need to then just go through backwards and forwards a couple of times. Just to make sure it cuts through. Hopefully that has done it. I know I had a few issues the first time around I did it. No, it hasn't quite gone through. So I just need to do that a few more times. Just need to move it around a little bit. And the problem is that when it's this way round, there's not much wiggle room. Or you may have to pop a shim in it to... Um, Let's start it's getting there it's nearly popping through this is probably the part which is the longest part which is going to take is just running this through and making sure this die cuts It's it's getting there. It just needs a little bit of a little bit of a helping hand going through on this. So I'm just gonna just edge it round a little bit, help it out just a fraction. It is going, can you see? So I, I think it'll be easier if you don't have like camera on top of it. Yes. It straight over your head. Above your head even. Yeah. <laughs> so just going through. Yeah, once you have if you're when you're doing this and you you haven't got a, a big camera and light over the top of you, you can get right over the top of it. You can really see you can get the positioning perfect, um, and really mess it around with it in your machine. Okay, but yeah, that there has popped out now, which is good. So you can see it just took a little bit of time, but persevere with it, and you will create yourself. An aperture, okay, and that's fine like that. So that now is that, and that then matches that one right there. So we can now look through the one and the two. So that's that. I can now pop that to one side. It's good. So. You can use these for something else, especially if you've used a, an erasable pen or pencil on the um, on the circle here. You can go wreck into it, and then you can then just erase erase the pen marks, so you can then actually use this for something else. All right, but I do that one there. So Joe, there's a challenge for you. <laughs> what can you do with these circles? There's a couple of them as well, because I've made two prototypes. All right, so that's that one and that one there. What we want to do now is you want to take your large basic white, which we've got, which we cut out, which was the same size as the black mat, and we want to go ahead and we want to stick that directly into the card. Like so. And then layer that one on the inside of this. OK. 
Okay. Like so. Good. Then what we can do is we can close this up and we're going to grab the stamp. So the stamp I'm using is this bird, okay? And the other ones which I'm going to be using is the Friendly Hello and the Hope You Have a, the Best Birthday. So what you'd want to do on your scrap piece of card, you'd want to stamp your Hello Friend. Okay, so... Just ink this up. This is a lovely set. Just make sure it's nice and it's it. You've got the ink distributed nicely over everything, so you get a nice solid image. Do that, and then you can then pop this down onto a bit of scrap paper. Because what we're going to do is we're going to fussy cut this out. Um, but Jay has kindly already gone and fussy cut me one out, so you don't have to watch, sit here and watch me do it. But just look how lovely that stamps okay but then once you've done that then what you want to do is you then want to have a nice fussy cut one out just like that all right so that's that one done and then what you want to do is you want to then grab the bird you want to ink the bird up what's that marion's up for a class with the uh, with the with the waves is that i saw We have to. Yeah, we've already ordered ours as well. We were right on it. But we didn't get the gems because they weren't in stock when we ordered it. We were that early. <laughs> Too eager. Too eager. And then they were in a couple of hours later. All right, so I'm just inking up my bird right here. Now, I've, this position is quite nicely so that the bird fits in this aperture quite nicely. So I'm just going to position this over the top like this. It's going to bring this down to me a little bit. And I'm positioning this towards kind of like the top half and leaving a bit more of a white space at the bottom. All will make sense in a moment. And then we're just going to stamp through that aperture. Down like that. There are other ways which you can do it. You can probably put like a little very faint paint pencil line around it so you can then rub it out afterwards and then you can then stamp like that. But I've done it through the aperture just so I can see. And that's that one. I'm going to do some basic colouring right here, right now. So I've got myself some blends. And I'm just going to colour the bird in with the pool party. So I'm just going to do some basic ink blending here. That one, and then we just use the the dark just to flick a few extra lines into there. So very, very basic. And then I'm going to grab my Granny Apple Green, and we're going to then colour the the branch in. If you've got more time, you can spend a bit more time with this colouring and really make the the bird perfect. Okay, so that's that one. And then we would then just take some dark Highland Heather, not Highland Heather, um, Fresh Freesia. And we're just going to colour in the centre, flick it out a little bit. Really? Janice? Wow, excellent. And then just use a little bit of light and just flick out again. Just to... Come out. It doesn't need to be perfect, as I said. Just out we go. Like that. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the petal pink, the dark petal pink, and then just colour in the centres there. So these are all the coordinating colours which work well with this set. All right, so that there is my colouring gum. I'm going to take the other sentiment here. Hope you have the best birthday. And we will ink this up and we're going to pop that down over here. Just so that it is then hidden by the aperture. But then as I open it up, 
that you're going to have on the front there saying, hello friend, hope you have the best birthday. And that there is that. But that there, that there is good as it is. You can do something else with that. You can pop some other embellishments on this if you want to. But I, the, for me, the front still needs something else done to it. So this is where this black piece comes in here, which we got. So I'm going to grab my machine again. And I, with, this is where the black square come in where I've got the adhesive sheet on the back of this. I've already prepped it with the adhesive sheets. Now the other two I just did with glue, so it's this. I'm going to be interested to see how this comes out. So I'm going to pop this in, and I'm going to then just cut this the large scallop with the adhesive sheet on the background. Okay. So there we have that one with some adhesive sheets on it. Then what I'm going to do is I will grab the second circle, the circle which we use for the, the apertures, layer this into this one again. So remember these are layering circles. Layer this in. And then cut again. Ah, uh, you overnighted it. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're too stingy. <laughs> so I just did to pay for the extra postage, I'm sorry. <laughs> And then that then has now created a another aperture, okay? Another aperture which has got adhesive sheets all on the back of this. So it's going to hopefully, once we've got it in place, we can stick it down and it's going to be a perfect fit. And then you've got another circle which you can then do something else with which has got sticky back to it. Okay, so that's that. Then this can get stuck to that. All right, just frames that one off quite nicely, but it still needs some more. We're going to grab an embossing folder. So I've got here, which is the Meadow Moments embossing folder. And when I was looking for embossing folders, I just, the, the, these ones are quite a little bit too small for the whole thing to go over. But there is one on this particular one, which I thought was really, really pretty, which was the this one right here. Because it's kind of only half of it which is nice and so I figured this was perfect for doing an emboss over the one side so as we want to pop it in we kind of line the embossing folder up with the score line which you've got down here maybe not too far over to it come over a little bit line it up so you can see how far away from the from the so it can kind of be folded I'm going to grab my machine. Now this is a standard embossing folder, so it just all the only plates which we need to remove is the plate number two, and then we then still have our clear plate. So pop that in there. Pop this embossing folder in like so. Let's make sure that it doesn't move, and then run this through the machine. Oh, sorry about that. And probably quite loud as well because that click was right next to the microphone. Sorry. So that's that one. And then once we remove this, we have now got this lovely embossing, which is kind of just on one side and then kind of tapers itself off. So this side over to this triangle, and I think that worked absolutely perfectly with this style of card. The, obviously the marks you can see in here are just glue at the moment, so once that dries they will all disappear. And then that is then how that one goes. To finish that off, you will need to take your aperture, which I seem to have lost, which is, if in doubt, check under your die cutting machine, because that's where it was. All right, then what we can do is we can then remove this adhesive sheets from the back of this aperture which we created. So there's lots of apertures going on on this machine, on this card. So I think, uh, do, you, do you agree with me? A trifold aperture card? Or can somebody else think of a better name for it? And say so this isn't a new, this isn't a new fold. So there is a, there is somebody has probably got a proper name for it. 
but I just don't know what it is. Okay, so I've now got adhesive on the back of all of this. Saves me now faffing around with trying to pop little dots of glue all over this. All we want to do is then just line this up with that and then just stick it down and we've got a nice stick all the way around that. So that's not going anywhere and we've created ourselves this nice little fold. All right, now to finish this off, we will take some dimensionals, some mini dimensionals, and we're gonna pop this over like that. So you can see why I left like this blank space at the bottom right here, because then we can pop the hello like this. So I'm gonna pop some dimensionals on the friends, because they will be on the card and then I will probably need to just put one probably around about here and then one over on the H over here because obviously you don't want to go into the middle because then that's going to then interfere with this gap right here which will then stick to the back and then the whole concept of the card will not work because it won't open because you've stuck it together. You need to do it that way because you need to see your positioning. And then that one there goes on like that. Like a little bit, I just need to, so, so I just need to be aware, I just need to then just detack that, I'll just come over a little bit on that one. But that might add, that helps keep it closed a little bit, but. And that's it. That there is tonight's Fun Fold Friday. I hope you enjoy that. But that's that card right there. And that stands up nicely. That's, yeah, that just stands up nicely. It's just a different card just to stand up. So that was the first one I did. I'm going to go over and show you, obviously, the original one which I did when I just I positioned my circle in a different position here. So I, I, I positioned it more in the centre of this part. Then when I cut it through it was off center so which is why then i've now put one the second one i've made for you now i've moved it more over so it's more central of the whole card rather than the central of this little piece right here and i think it just it just as it opens up it looks better because it's central in this one here rather than this one here which is then off exactly the same measurements have been used on both cards it's just that the positioning of my first aperture was more to the right rather than to the left on this side here you can probably just see there's not much of a difference but there's a little bit of a difference between the gap here and the gap there so hopefully you don't if this still works but it just works better centrally so hopefully you don't make that mistake or if you do that and you know why you've done it so there we have it there is tonight's fun fold friday did you enjoy it so good so jay's going to come back over we will say um we will say some stuff don't know what. what. Don't know what. <laughs> what. And then we're going to disappear because I'm going to go to the gym. <laughs> so, any, what was everyone saying? Anything? Uh, everyone's loving the waves. Uh, wonderful card. Beautiful card for this one. Lovely. Uh, Thank and, you. Which is great. Um, so, I, yes. I love this embossing folder as well. I haven't used yeah. this embossing, but I think it worked really well with this one because I just like the way that it just kind of like goes off and it flows your eye follows it because obviously it them naturally tapers off you can even if you want to use your bone is you can like have um dimensional there with the twine and then you can wrap yeah. it around so you can see how jay's mind's working and then you can you? tie it and you'll have a bow in and they probably have some sprigs coming out of all of this <laughs> as well and another 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 bit of die there, cutting going over a here a little bit of a scrap a little bit of paper coming out <laughs> down here this a bit of a jaunty angle um yeah so and like there's a new leaf punch i can't remember the name <laughs> we don't have it but you can have so that is my card and obviously you can see how jay would then how he, how his mind then takes it completely just that one step further. It's great though. But yeah, no, I'm really happy with that one. I, I like the colours on yeah. this as well. And this is the colours from the suite, which is perfect. And not much fussy cutting with that one. Because no. Unfortunately, this bundle hasn't got a die. 
so it actually works well um, just stamping it on yeah. the thing there amazing okay. well done excellent so let's come over to us let's turn off a light there we have it amazing yes well done Barry thank you very love much that. and yes. yes we we do love the holders as well on uh, on this DSB bundle is really fresh isn't it yeah so fresh freezer so fresh freezer <laughs> sorry <laughs> excellent okay well I do hope you enjoyed that thank you very much for joining us for Fun Fold Friday we will be back with you again live on Sunday evening um, at 7pm for our regular um, Sunday night I don't know what we're doing have we got any plans for that one yet no no okay we will work something out over the next couple of days um, but yeah thank you very much for joining us tonight and we will see you again very soon take care everyone take care have a great weekend have a great weekend yes bye 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 bye, bye.